Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a while since I've put anything up. Uh, I've actually had the flu this last week, so it's a little out of action. So I uh, didn't get any hobby done. I didn't go to Ryan's Tank Wars and uh, was pretty laid up pretty good there for a while. But I have a chance to get back to doing a little bit of hobby and uh, talking to some people online and uh, Alan and stuff in person. Uh, he commented, and I've had some comments online about doing some of the videos like I used to do. Uh, I started to delve into, you know, doing some talking about, uh, just talking about bolt action, and actually doing some hobby stuff. And I never really put much hobby videos up because, you know, I, I'm not an expert uh, modelist. Uh, but as he pointed out, is neither are... 99% of the other people out there and sometimes it's good just to see you know other people's work and what they do so I figured I'd do a short little video of what I'm working on and I'm working on my Romanians still getting them ready for Adepticon uh, how good the lighting is I got a, a lot of lighting here but as you can see I started with these guys when I did the basing I wanted it to be kind of a uh, not necessarily a frozen uh, ground or I didn't want to do snow effect but I wanted to give the feel for a cold climate and I used this really white dead grass on top of this rock color I painted because uh, that's what I had on hand and uh, since since I used it uh, it's probably a little whiter than I want it to be it's very dead grass uh, but that's what I started with, and so this one I'm going to keep going with. Uh, what I've done was some experimenting, adding in a little bit of color by adding some of these taller uh, tufts of grass from Army Builder. Other companies make them as well. And when you add that little bit of contrast color, uh, the bases aren't so bleak, and it, I think it gives it a decent effect. Uh, so. What I'm using is uh, these here is, uh, by Army Painter, and uh, these are mountain tufts. Uh, again, I had these on hand because I had picked them up. I did order some more, and I ordered a whole plethora of different colors from them because when I start building my Americans, I'm probably going to be using this winter tuft. Uh, winter tuft is got a little bit of green in it still, but it's kind of dead. Uh, what I'm using on my Romanians is called Mountain Tuft, and it's just dead tall grass. So they're very easy to use if you've never used them before. I'm sure other people do them more professionally. I don't even bother to use any glue. I just use the self-adhesive uh, that comes on the tuft, and as of now I have never had a problem so until they start falling off I probably won't change my ways because I am lazy they're very easy to use they come in large medium to small they even have a breakdown of the different numbers of each ones on the panel but you know you just pluck them off with a tweezers and then find an appropriate spot and stick it on I flip the tweezers around and kind of press it down. Give it a little shake. And you know, presto, you've got a start a grass tuft. Usually put a couple on each base. Look for a nice spot. Since this guy's got a machine gunner. You can't really go wrong as nature is not very symmetrical when it comes to how grass grows uh, you don't want to get too you don't want all your models matching because you'll end up when you get done with all of them you'll look at it and you'll realize that it looks too manufactured that's basically all I do so I'll go ahead and crank out a squad of these you can see the result when we get to the end
So, a short little bit of work. These guys kind of stand out a little bit. Didn't take much effort. And it really makes a difference. Uh, I I just use pretty much mono color. I know some people will use different different colors. The problem I have with the this Romanian army in particular is I started off with such a a bleak grass that to make it contrast, uh, if I were to use something with a little more brown or green in it, uh, I could have also maybe put uh, a different shade like this like this one in on the base too to make it a triple color probably would have made it look really nice but you know for minimal effort there uh, really makes them kind of stand out a little bit so alright that was easy I got a couple of little pieces like uh, some crewmen and stuff for the mortar and things like that but yeah that's it alright I'll try to put up a few more little of my videos as I go along I've got some uh, tanks I'm working on and then uh, I've got to get some other things done. Thanks.